السلام علیکم ان دا اناٹمی اینڈ فزیولوجی لیکچر دو سیریز ٹوڈے ویل گو ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دی اناٹمی آف دی کارپسز اینڈ دی میٹا کارپس اینڈ دی فلنجیز وچ از آر دی اناٹمیکل اسٹرکچر آف اور رس جوائنٹ اینڈ اور پامس اینڈ دی ہینڈس سو ان دی فار دی the wrist joint uh, the wrist joint which is made up by the uh, eight type of the uh, small uh, bones and these are the small bones just like the stone uh, stone like in a structure which is a present in our wrist joint they are situated they are uh, located in the two rows four uh, carpuses the four carpuses is pre the four carpuses is called the proximal row and the four uh, carpuses which is are situated and lined in the structure form that's called the distal row of the carpuses in the wrist joint so what are the uh, to memorize the name of these carpuses it is the eight carpuses small joint which is make the uh, gliding joint uh, condylite and uh, condylite joint and these type of the condylite joint these in the gliding in the gliding joint the bones are the gridding on each other the bones are the friction the bone are fricked a friction on each other so the friction and the gliding uh, the gridding movement is possible between the carpuses in the wrist joint so memorizing the, these eight type of the joint it is a mnemonic is written over here and this mnemonic is very famous uh, just like to memorize she looks uh, she looks uh, too pretty try to catch her yeah in other way the urdu if you cannot memorize the english that you can uh, memorize the mnemonic for the uh, memorization of these eight type of the bone sham lal tinde pake tinde tere kacche hain so how we uh, memor uh, what is uh, the in the this mnemonic sentence what is the name of the carpuses are located inside of it and uh, she looks pretty Uh, she looks pretty the s l 2 and b she s for the scaphoid scaphoid from the lateral side from the lateral side we will go to from the lateral side we will go to medial side the first row the proximal row the proximal row the scaphoid and l for the lunate she looks l for the lunate Too pretty. T for triumphal, triumphal, and P for pitiful. This one, the scaphoid from the from the lateral side. This one is called the scaphoid, and this one is lunate. And this scaphoid and lunate. is make the joint with the radius bone and this one is the called uh, triumphal triumphal and this one is called the pisiform pisiform now scaphoid from the lateral side towards the medial side scaphoid lunate triumphal and pisiform now the try to catch her t for the from this one this one is for the trapezium trapezium this one the second row at uh, the distal row from the lateral side from the lateral side the distal row of the carpus is the first the carpus name is called the trapezium and trape trapezium and the second one try to trape zoid trapezium and this one is called the trapezoid trape zoid and try to catch a c for capitate capitate this one this one is for the capitate the third one capitate capitate means uh, the uh, the third 
uh, in the second row and the proximal and the, uh, in the distal row the third bone from the lateral side is called the capitate for the cache and for the whole H is the last one is hamate hamate so to memorization uh, of this uh, A type of the carpuses so it is a sentence mnemonic sentence is written over here she looks too pretty try to catch her okay they, that the the fur is it is has that in a so in the located or situated the wrist joint this small type of the joint in the in the two row the first row is called the which is the proximal row and the proximal row is a made up by the uh, four uh, is a consist of the four small carpuses the first one from the from the lateral side goes to medial side the first bone is called to scaphoid and the second corpus the name of the second corpus is called the lunate and the third corpus from the lateral to medial side the first in the first row the proximal row the third corpus is the corpus name is called the tricuteral and the 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 fourth uh, corpus which is present on the medial side which is uh, makes to unite with the uh, the head uh, the head of the ulna and this called the pisiform and the pisiform you can feel it in the, your wrist joint and the wrist joint you can feel it the pisiform uh, the the uh, the the uh, the, the crown of the pisiform now on the uh, the, the second row and the second row uh, which is called the distal row of the carpuses from the lateral we will go to uh, medial side the first uh, bone of the uh, of the distal row of the carpuses is called the trapezium and the second one is called the trapezoid try to catch her okay, trapezium and then the second one is called the trapezoid and the third one catch to her c for the capitate and the last one is the hamate so these are the these are the a type of the carpuses bone which is a present uh, situated in the two row in our wrist joint and these are the types of the small uh, small bones uh, small type of the small bone and they uh, the, the 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 joint which is our make these are these the type of the joint which is a makeup or uh, structure between the uh, two carpuses that's called the cartilage joint and the, the wrist joint between the radius and ulna with the carpuses this joint is called the hinge joint but the the condylar joint is present among the between the or among the the carpuses and because in the condylar joint this uh, the the the, uh, the friction or the grinding uh, movement is uh, is present between the wrist joint between the carpuses so if you cannot memorize the mnemonic sentence in the english in the english version that you will you can memorize very easily in the urdu version as well means sham lal tinde pake tinde tere kacche hain sham lal sham is the s is the s s is for the scaphoids scaphoids lal is for the l l is for the lunate okay tinde tinde is for the t t is for the tricuteral tricuteral and pake is for the pisiform and again tinde te t again is t t is for the trapezium trapezium and tere again is t t is for the trapezoid kache hain kache is c c for capitate and h h is for the h and is hamate so if you if you cannot memorize in the english version of the mnemonic sentence then you can also memorize the name of these a type of the rows by the uh, by the mnemonic of the in the urdu sentence sham lal tinde pake tinde tere kache hain so you can memorize it very easily by the, uh, the name of the a type of the rows uh, uh, 
uh, of the carpuses which is the present in your wrist joint. Now, just above of the uh, the carpuses, we have the a metacarpus. We have the five number of the metacarpus which is are present in the our palms. And these metacarpuses, the metacarpus is the type of the long bone because it has the three portions. And the small bone, it is, has the no any portions. So it is called the small bone because it is has no proximal end, no is a distal end, no is a shaft. So and the, is this metacarpus is, is the type of the uh, long bone, but is a short in a structure, is short in a length. So this one is called the first metacarpus, second metacarpus, third metacarpus, fourth metacarpus, and fifth metacarpus. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. We have the fifth metacarpus, which is the types of the long bone. Now uh, we will go to uh, some uh, areas just to find out of the uh, uh, on the on the. These some are the muscles are attachment to on the uh, on the on the uh, these are the on the areas of the uh, carpuses and also on the uh, metacarpuses as well. If you just this is the first one, the first metacarpus and the first metacarpus is the to make the thumb, the thumb of the uh, thumb finger or the thumb of the uh, parts of the make the, uh, uh, the articulation with the thumb phalanges. So this is the first metacarpus. On the first metacarpus, if you see here in the in the middle one, in the, in the middle of the metacarpus, the the shaft of the metacarpus. Is the area for the attachment of the openness police muscle. Openness police muscle is attached over here. In the middle of the shaft of the first metacarpus is the area for the openness police muscles. Uh, the tendon of the op uh, police uh, muscle is will goes to attach over here. And just at the base of the of the first uh, metacarpus is the another area and this area is for the attachment of the abductor abductor polis polisus longus muscles tendon will come attach over here which make give the uh, abduction of your thumb now see the thumb is become uh, abducted and this abduction uh, which is happen in the and the uh, and the thumb, the, this movement which is uh, maybe happened with the and the abduction of the thumb is happened due to the uh, the function or due to the attachment of the tendon of the abductor pollis longus muscle is attached over here. Now we will come up on the uh, the uh, the tri uh, trapezium, the second row in the trapezium and the trapezium. Uh, uh, carpus which is a present on the first carpus which is the first small bone in the second row and the uh, distal row of the carpuses. This in the in the tri trapezium in the center of the trapezium is an area is here and this area is again is for the openness polis muscle openness polis muscle polis muscle Openness polysus muscle is attached over here. Openness polysus muscle is attached over here. And just above uh, of the below of this area, and uh, just at the base of the uh, trapezium bone and just at the roof of the escaphoid bone, is the an area is an area is for the abductor abductor polis polis. Brevius muscle. Abductor polis brevius muscle is attached over here. Now we will go uh, to see over here is the C shape. Now look over here is a is a inverted C shape area is over here, and these uh, uh, this C shape. Uh, oblique is the muscle is a party attachment and this C shape this the curve area it is it is uh, the area is attached from the uh, 
first, second, the third uh, metacarpus, and on the fourth metacarpus, and this area is our attachment for the uh, for the trapezoid, and also for the uh, capitate muscle. Capitate bone is area is covered by the this C shape, and this C shape is for the obductor. Obductor muscles attach over here is for the attachment of the abductor brevius abductor uh, pollis abductor pollis pollicis oblique head is attached over here abductor pollis uh, uh, muscles uh, abductor pollis uh, muscles the oblique head is attached over here. So the, this uh, this area is now we will come up on the uh, lateral side. In the lateral side, on the fusiform form over here is the fusi is the an area is for the is this is the fusi form bone, and this fusi form bone is area is called the abductor. This area is called the the abductor digi. Digiti minimus minimus muscles is attached over here on the pg form. On the pg form, on the is area is over here. This is called the abductor uh, digiti minimus muscles is atta attached over here. And just above at the base of the and the base of the uh, uh, fifth metacarpus and also the pg form. This area is for the PG4, PG4 ligament, PG4 ligament, PG4 carpi ligament is attached over here. This area is for the PG4 meta, PG4 meta carpo, PG4 meta carpo. Legamus is attached over here on this area at the base of the at the base of the at the base of the fourth uh, fifth metacarpus and at the above surface of the PC form is an area is here and this area is for the attachment of the ligament and this the name of this ligament is called the PC4 metacarpo. The PC4 metacarpal ligament is attached over here. Now, on the on the in the, the, the base of the, this, uh, this 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 the, the PC form is another area is called for the abductor uh, abductor digitorum minimus muscles is attached over here. So, in the in the lower side of the of the tri uh, escapoid lunate and triuterine. Is tricultural and as another area is is here and this area is called for the attachment of the flexor flexor carpi alaris muscles muscle is attached over here flexor carpi alaris muscles is attached over here and this carpus alaris muscles flexor carpi alaris is for the flexion of the flexion of the palms or flexion of the hands is there now the another is area and this area is again is for the flexor brevius muscle flexor carpi flexor carpi brevius muscle is Area which is present on the uh, trapezoid and for uh, trapezoid and the capitate, it is present in the center of the trapezoid uh, on the trapezoid and on the capitate area. This area is attached. This area is for the arrangement of the tendon of the flexor carpi brevius muscle, and this carpi brevius is again for the flexion of the. Um, of the middle of the two middle fingers and also on the middle side middle uh, of the uh, arms and on the hands flexion of the hands so now i will go on the and uh, the second uh, this is the first 
metacarpal and this is this is carpal second metacarpus and the, the second metacarpus the shaft of the of the medial uh, side of the uh, metacarpus this area is for the attachment of the second palmar interosseous membrane the palmar the second palmar interosseous membrane is attached over here in this area second palmar interosseous interosseous membrane is attached over here now this one the second one in the in the third metacarpus in the third metacarpus in the center of the third metacarpus the shaft of the metacarpus is for the attachment of the abductor pollis muscle is attached over here abductor abductor pollis pollicis muscles the transverse head is attached over here in the third uh, metacarpus on the shaft of the third metacarpus uh, area is for the attachment of the abductor pollis of the transverse head of the uh, of the abductor pollis uh, pollicis muscle is attached over here now in the fourth metacarpus this is the medial the medial border of the shaft of the uh, fourth uh, metacarpus and this area is for the third uh, palmar palmar interosseous membrane interosseous membrane this area the medial border of the fourth uh, uh, metacarpus and the fourth metacarpus is for the third palmar interosseous membrane and the the fifth one the uh, the fifth one the medial border of the fifth uh, metacarpus and this area is for the fourth interosseous palmar interosseous membrane interosseous membrane is attached over here in the medial border of the shaft of the fourth metacarpus now the outer side the outer side of the shaft of the of the fifth metacarpus is for the attachment of the opinus opinus dg dgt dgt minimus muscles minimus muscle is attached over here in the opinion in the fourth metacarpus of the of the uh, uh, metacarp fifth metacarpus of the uh, of the hands so uh, it is the uh, it was the interior view it is the interior view of the uh, metacarpus uh, and the carpus of the uh, uh, of the uh, hands and of the wrist joint so it is all about the today is all about the session of the uh, the carpuses and the uh, and the metacarpuses which is uh, give the structure to make the, our wrist joint and also make the, our palms okay so uh, we have the uh, the wrist joint is made up by the eight type of the uh, eight type of the small bones and the wrist and the palms is made up by the five metacarpuses and it, the five metacarpus is, is the type of the long bone but in the structure they are the small or the small in size but they, they the structurally the in the shape and the characteristic it is the type of the long bone so the metacarpus is, is the type of the small bone and they, these are uh, located or situated uh, in the two row the first row of the carpus is, is called the proximal row and the second row of the carpus is, is called the distal row so it is a made up by the a type of the bone i have uh, 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 written the mnemonic uh, uh, sentence for the memorization of these uh, a type of the small bone uh, one in the english version uh, she looks uh, too pretty try to catch her and the second one is the, the Urdu version. If you cannot memorize in the English language, in the English uh, mnemonic uh, sentence, then you can memorize in the Urdu version as well. The, the Urdu version is called the Sham Lal Tinde Pake Tinde Tere Kache Hai. So now in the, in the English version, uh, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. She 
S is for the scaphoid bone. We will start from the lateral to medial side of the proximal row of the small bone in the wrist bone. The she, the S of the she is for the scaphoid bone, and looks and looks is L for the lunate bone, and the tri two two T is for the tricuspid, and pretty P is for the pisiform. Now in the second row, the proximal row of the uh, wrist joint for the uh, carpus from the lateral towards the medial side, the try to catch her, try T for the trapezium and 2 for 2 for uh, trapezoid and catch C for the capitate and H for the hamate. So this is the in the English version uh, the sentence uh, this is the mnemonic sentence for the in the English to memorize the A type of the carpus bone which is our uh, make the structure of the your wrist joint. Now we will come up in the Urdu version. If you cannot memorize in English, then we will come up on the Urdu. And the Urdu is Gardi Sham Lal Tinde Pake Tinde Tere Kache. So Sham is the S again is the is for the scaphoid. Lal is uh, again you can write down the Lal. Lal is with the with the L. So L is for the uh, lunate and Tinde T is for the tricuspid. P Pake hai P P P P for the pisiform. Tinde Tere Kache again, Tinde T for the trapezium and the Tere Tere T again T is for the uh, trapezoid uh, Kache hai K, K is with the, we will write down with the C with the uh, capitate and H for the hamid. So it is all about the and the we have the metacarpuses, we have the five metacarpus, first metacarpus, second metacarpus and the third and fourth and fifth metacarpus. Okay, these metacarpus are the type of the uh, of the long bone, but the is, is structure in the in the size they are short in a structure. So it is all about the. I hope you learn uh, uh, learn a lot and enjoy from the two-day lecture session of the anatomy of the carpuses and the metacarpuses. Uh, so if if you have any sort of the inquiry or the question, you can email me. Yeah, you can uh, comments in my in, uh, inbox of the my YouTube channel HPH. So in the last, I request you all after the watching of the my uh, video lecture of the anatomy, please subscribe my YouTube channel HPH. Thank you so much.